give Clemson credit. I thought they came in and made made shots like we knew they were capable of doing. Spread us out and uh, obviously came away with the win. So got a lot to work on, a lot to improve on uh, in a lot of different areas, both kind of um, X and O wise and our other stuff. So um, we'll move forward with that tomorrow. Obviously, it's going to be tough to lose when you have a double-digit lead. But to do in back-to-back games, is it, is it extra concerning that this is a, a, I don't know if it's becoming a trend? But you know, I didn't even think of it. I, honestly, I didn't even just because the games were so different. You know, uh, I think that the way college basketball is, you know, leads leads can kind of come and go. Um, I honestly, didn't I didn't I didn't even think of that. I think more more than anything, I was not pleased with our overall kind of defensive mindset approach from really from the tip. And I think that's something that we have to correct uh, if we're gonna if we're gonna grow. And as far as the second half goes, they, they turned your turnovers into a lot of points in the second half. How important how how backbreaking was that as you guys are trying to fend them off? You know, I, I just it's uh we're gonna have to continue to uh, look at how we how we need to play, whether we need to play a little bit more control. Um, I just, I'm optimistic that our decision making will, will improve, but I think live ball turnovers are killers, and I didn't think our transition defense was good the whole night, really. You had talked uh, early in the year sort of about mental toughness, and, and that, that's a process, so I think we all understand that. But And you had games earlier where teams came back and you held them off and then closed the game out. Um, I, I guess just your assessment of where this team is from, from a mental toughness standpoint. And that you... Yeah, I think we took a step back on that today. Um, I, I, I didn't think we handled adversity very well and weren't as connected as we needed to be and let frustration get the best of us. And <clears throat> so I think we definitely took a step backwards when it comes to that today. Um, it's something we're going to have to get better at. Um, we have to respond better to runs and, and uh, we're gonna have to, I'm going to have to continue to coach that better. Along those same lines, um, getting better in the face of adversity, and you obviously coached teams through that in the past. Um, is it one success in a game where guys see that they can do it once, or is it gradual, or can it happen either way, or what? How has it happened for you in the past when, when you see teams? Yeah, I think it's a it's a gradual process. You know, it's almost like you you respond in a four minute, you know, within a four minute span the right way, and then you just kind of build off of that. Um, and um, I, I think that's you know that that's um, as much as anything. I, that, I think that's where we're at. We've, we've kind of got to start from square one uh, with that. We have some guys that. I think genuinely want to win and, and can get wrapped up in the emotion of it and get frustrated and kind of here we go again. And, um, you know, we have to find a way to, to not, have that, not have that thinking. So, um, you know, I, I really think it's, it's, it's baby steps when it comes to that for us right now. And, and hopefully we'll get there. We, we've, had some, we've had some good moments with that. Um, but, um, you know, not tonight. I, more than anything tonight, I just didn't think we were. I just didn't think we we had enough juice. Um, and maybe I need to use the bench more. I'll have to, I'll have to look at some things that I can do. Um, I just didn't think we had enough. Whether it was some fatigue had something to do with it or not, we just didn't look like we had enough. Coach, you talked earlier in the season about you know managing expectations and. And things. How much do you kind of have to remind yourself after a game like this that, that it is a process, and and how hard is that to do when when you're kind of in the middle of it here? Yeah, no, it's hard. It's hard. It's hard for sure. And um, you know, I've got to probably, you know, I, I'm 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 not very good at that. I'm not very good at being patient. I'm not certainly not good at, um, you know handling this kind of stuff. So I think our players probably need to see me in a way handle that handle that better. But uh, um, yeah, I just think I, I think overall I just I expected our 
effort defensive. I thought we did some good things sharing the ball, uh, but I, I just expected our defensive effort to be better, and I think that was mo when, when you when you have listen. I'm 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 not saying we want a foul, but when you have one or two fouls, three you know with 30 seconds going in the first half, it speaks something to you, to your uh, overall activity. When you have you know less than five deflections. Uh, going into the last four minute media of the first half, that says something about our activity. So um, that's not good enough for a team that can score like this. And then Micah, um, what's an update on him? Obviously, didn't yeah, play. no, I was I was going to run, give Micah a spell. He, he was he was favoring it a lot yesterday in practice, and I was kind of touch and go with. Uh, my, I, I expect that he'll he'll be able to play on on Saturday. He just he's not been able to have the kind of. Uh, practice that I feel like he's got very limited lift on it right now uh, no explosion um, you know so I would just it's kind of day to day and uh, I think he's he's capable of, of, of giving us some minutes but it's just it's, it's going to be in somewhat of a limited form right now until he gets the strength fully back you had, uh, you had 12 assists on 14 baskets in the first half of that I think it was a combination of both. I don't think we moved it as well in in the second half, um, and uh, I, I can think of more than a couple times where the ball should have moved and it stuck on in the guys' hands. So we're going to just have to continue to coach that and get the ball moving. Uh, and then obviously we didn't make as many shots. We had a run there where, you know, even as a coach you're looking at it and you're saying, hey, we're not going to we're going to not going to you know, make eight threes in the second half. That's probably not going to happen. So, um, what our we have to go back to what we believe our identity is and our staples, and um, and we just, you know, we couldn't we couldn't get back to that, which is moving the ball and obviously setting the tone defensively and on the glass. I just thought thought overall we did not we did not have it, but I didn't like I didn't I didn't think we moved it as well in the second half. Okay, a couple more. Coach, in the, uh, the first half, we all seemed to get off to a good start offensively, and then they sort of changed to a, a zone defense, and it seemed like you all started to struggle a little bit more. Uh, and, and this is something that I think that um, has happened a couple of times this season. What do you need to do um, to try and, and correct that and get the team to play better against the zone defense? Yeah, I, just, I think, you know, good. Uh, we've got to become a better passing team, for one. We've got to recognize things. Uh, quicker and better. Uh, good, good zone offensive teams are really good passing teams, and I think we just are going to have to simplify some stuff and be able to move the ball and pass it quicker, and make quicker decisions, and uh, um, maybe simplify some things on our end as well. After a few games now this year, you said this team has a lot to work on. Have you seen progress being made in practice, or are you having to continually to hammer on the same things in practice? Um. You know that we haven't been able to practice a whole lot. I was not particularly pleased with our practice yesterday, and I, I let them know that. Um, uh, but uh, I think we just—it's been so choppy with our practice times, consistent practice times, because of the schedule. Um, you know, I think I was seeing some progress, but uh, we need to get back to where we have some consistent practice time. That's not going to come for a while. Um, but we need to get back to that. Last one, Bob. Chris, um, you mentioned that you didn't think you had the juice. Um, Kata wouldn't use the excuse of four, day, four games in however many days, but you mentioned before you went to Portland, six games in 12 days, and you're still not done with it. Um, is that understandable that you might not have the juice, and how, but how do you get it out of you for two more games coming? Yeah, I know. I know. That's what I. That's what I need to think about. That's what I need to think about. Um, because, and, I, and I'll watch the tape, but I never felt like we we, we had it. Uh, uh, particularly in the, in, uh, in the areas where you need effort to be effective, defensively on the glass, deflections. I did not feel like we ever had that. Uh, um, and that's a com that's a complete reflection on on effort and energy level, and. Um, you know, I need to look at um, how we're going to manage this. You know, this next this next week here, um, and again, you know, I'll look back and say, hey, do I need to, you know, do I need to play guys? Um, 
a little less minutes um, just to keep us you know fresher through this stretch. Uh, and if I do, then I need to figure out, okay, what's what what, what direction are we going?